today is the day guys it is finally time to smoke this bacon i'm so excited i can't wait this is the day we've been waiting on so it's been curing in the fridge for seven days now and i'm just going to be honest with you i didn't turn it every day we had a lot going on this week we had sickness and we were really just um preoccupied with other things so i would think about it and i'd be like oh i should turn it and then I would forget. So it did not get turned every day. I feel like it's still going to be okay. Um, so I'm going to take it out of the fridge. I'm going to rinse it. And we are going to get it in the smoker. Because we don't have an actual smokehouse. But we're going to use the smoker. And we're going to slow cook it. Or slow smoke it. Very low heat. For four to five hours and then we should be able to slice it up and it should be ready to fry okay here it is this is the bacon that has been curing for seven days so what we need to do now is take it out of these bags and rinse it off and get it ready to go into the smokers Here's the bacon that has been um, rinsed. This rib rack is kind of sitting in the sink. I'm going to blot these dry with paper towels. Um, and I'm going to set them over here on this rib rack to just kind of finish. I'm going to stick them in these slots like this to kind of finish drip drying. So that idea in my head didn't quite work out. So I had to improvise once again. Let me show you what ended up happening. So it wouldn't sit down in the slots. They kept falling. So I just got them laid out. Laid out on this rack. Going to let them dry. Um, Patrick's getting the fire started. So by the time that he gets it to temperature, we're hoping that these are going to be ready and that we can stick them in there for that slow smoke. Supposed to be recording. <laughs> it's been an hour and uh, we're coming out to check the temperature of the meat, of the bacon. I can't say meat, this is bacon. We're going to eat this stuff up. We are shooting for 150. Okay. Wanting it to be 150 eternally. Okay, so it's not quite ready, right? Well, the smaller pieces might. Yeah, they're getting there. Then we'll just trim it up and. Um, fry up what we want to eat and vacuum seal and store the rest away. So I'm not quite there. He's going to do some rearranging. He's going to do some rearranging and then we'll check back in a little bit. Because this is the cold side. This is the, That's the cold side. side. So I'm going to put all the thin pieces here and move all the thicker pieces. Okay. Okay, Pat brought them in. Um, that was quick. I didn't know he's bringing them in, and it has been... Well, I went out there to check them, and they were right at temperature. I was like, oh, let's grab them before It's been a couple cooked. hours. How long did you let them... Like, what temperature did you get them to internally? Uh, 145 and 150. Okay, so 145, 150 internal temperature. Mm -hmm. We're going to trim them up, cut them up. We're going to fry some of this to see... After it cools. After it cools, to see what it tastes like. So we can actually put them in pans, put them in the refrigerator, and let them cool. Okay. And then we can pull one out. Probably probably do this. No, let's do this one. The big fatty. <laughs> okay. Okay, you ready to do this? <laughs> okay, I think that's a yes. <laughs> Cutting the bacon. Um Oh yeah. You're getting there. You're getting to the good stuff. Get to the good stuff. Yeah, that looks just like like fat, fat, but it would still be good and crispy. Mm -hmm. We fry it real good. Um, we watched some videos and and there some people's bacon looks like really amazing. I'm hoping that the more we cut into ours, the more amazing it's gonna look. <laughs> we don't have a slicer yet, so we're gonna be hand slicing for a while. Mm -hmm. Just a little while. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that looks this is dinner looks pretty good. Summer. Yeah, we're gonna fry some of this up and uh, check it out. See how it passes with the kid taste test. Maybe Chloe will eat. She's getting her appetite back today, so we shall see. Okay, I'm gonna get the pan going. I'm tell you the smell. Yeah, it smells good. The smell is pretty awesome. I'm nice. gonna go get that pan going so um, we can throw these in there. Pan's hot and ready, and Pat's gonna put some in there, so we're gonna fry some fresh eggs with this. This is gonna be dinner. Um, I'm really excited to try this. Oh, listen to it. Ooh, sounds amazing. Oh, yeah. Sounds amazing. All right. So I'm going to pause again, and we will show y'all the final result. Do a taste test. And I guess that'll be the end of it, right? I don't know about the end. <laughs> okay. I kind of look rough, and that's okay. It's been a long day. Um, really long day from since this morning with the fire incident. So... Guys, we're going to go ahead and taste it before we um, cook, up a cook whole anymore batch. because we want to make sure that what it's going to be like edible. It? Yeah, what if <laughs> right. it's like we're going to throw up on camera? No, we're not. Okay. You ready? Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a lot of fat. It tastes like candy. It's good. Probably all the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, it's good. Yep. It's fatty and greasy, but that's why it's so good. What do you think? Finished cooking it? Oh! <laughs> good thing we have well, a little pan over there. Sure it tasted the same as mine. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Guys, it's a go. We're going to finish it, fry some of these eggs, have dinner, and... Yeah, go to bed. <laughs> Thanks, guys. God bless. Thanks for watching.